Hello there, welcome to Xfinity. In this video, I will show you how to collect project source files and share project files in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. I will also share important tips to reduce the size of project in Premiere Pro in the end and share project with all images, videos, assets, effects, transitions and music easily in very small size. So basically it is extremely helpful for sharing project files with source footage in Premiere Pro. So let's see how to do this. All right fellas welcome back again to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can share the project files in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 or 2022. In this video we are going to learn how we can share the project files including the footage, the videos, photos and music including the transitions and the effects that you have used in your videos. In this method I will show you how you can export the whole project with the source files within one click. So without any further delay let us dive straight into the Adobe Premiere Pro and let me show you how you can share the project files easily in Premiere Pro. All right fellas so now I am right inside the Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, the method that I'm going to show you will work in any version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Currently I'm using 2020 version but no worries it will also work in 2021 or 2022 version and if you are below 2020 version it will also work. So as you can see I am working on my next video and uh, you can imagine how difficult it is to make a video. So in order to show some support please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification and don't forget to comment down below if you like my video. All right fellas so as you can see this is my project file and I have done my editing in Adobe Premiere Pro and in order to share this including the transitions, effects, videos, music and everything I simply need to go to file and I will navigate to the project manager. Once you click on the project manager it will show you the sequence and the resulting project. In the sequence you can select any options you want because it will include all the effects, all the adjustment sequence, all the music files, all the transitions, all the videos everything you have in your project or in your sequence it will show you and you need to select each and everything that you want to share and deselect that you don't want to share but if you want to share the whole project you simply need to check all these sequences so what it will do if you check all these sequences it will grab all the transitions musics videos effects everything from your project and after that you need to select collect files and copy to a new location don't go with this option that's going to be very messy so I recommend to use collect files and copy to new location and after that this is the destination path you can change it to any directory that you want to change for example in this case I am going to save it into my desktop and I will create a new folder I have created a new folder with the name Xfinity and I will select this folder in order to export the project file from the Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see this has been changed to the my desired location and in the disk space it is showing you the disk space available. It is 200 GB almost and what is the original project file size it is unknown but in order to get the estimation you need to click on calculate it will show you the estimation of the resulting project size. As you can see the resulting project size will be 2.89 something around. And in the options you can check this option exclude the unused clips. This feature is very important. If you have something in your project file that is not used it will exclude all the files that are not currently used in the sequence or in the project. So that is very very handy if you are going to share the project files and it includes uh, any random files or unused files it will ignore all of these and also there is an option to include the audio confirm files you can also include the preview files you can select any option you want but I recommend to you select all of these because they are very helpful and in order to select all these just click on this check mark and it will be selected and once you are done you need to click on ok 
and uh, then it will ask you to save the project so you need to click on yes so now it is trying to grab all the media from the project files and it is storing into the my desired location and now you have seen an error that i am unable to export it because i have used some transition that is offline or not available you don't need to worry about this if you have used everything here and you can preview this it will be okay you can also select anything that is not available in your project sequence so that error is fine so let us dive straight into the project that is created uh, in order to share so that is the project named as xfinity and uh, let me open this so this is the project name copied yt xfinity my project name was yt xfinity so it has prefix of copied underscore once i dive into this i have all the files that are required for me to share with anyone who can all continue his work on this project so that is very handy and these are the project files that are used as a effects for transitions and this is the project file yt xfinity it is named as the as it was named in your adobe premiere pro project file so that's it guys and if in order to share this let me show you how you can share this file with your uh, friends or with your team members you just need to right click on this project that you recently created from the premiere pro and you need to select this option add to xfinity.rar in order to do this you need uh, winrar uh, software and you can search it on the google and you can download it easily what it will try to do it will try to compress the video files audio files music files and the pictures in your project so that you can share it easily most importantly it has very small size that is very useful if you are sharing the project files in small size it will create a zipped folder which is named as xfinity and let me show you a big difference between the original file and the compressed file the size of the original file is 2.89 GB and the size of the compressed file is 266 MB. So there is a big difference in the compressed file and the original project. Now you can share the 266 MB file with your team members and they can continue to work on this project. So I hope this video was very very helpful and if you find this helpful make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any problems. And I will try my best to solve it as soon as possible because I am very responsible person and I will try my best to respond to you in any case. Alright fellas so thank you so much and I appreciate your time watching this video and learning something new. And thank you so much for your support. Have a nice day.